Race fans, thank you for waiting out Mother Nature. Apparently she thought we should wash the racetrack, and so she washed the racetrack. The racetrack right now is checking in at 108 degrees of track temperature, 108, and the crew chiefs are all praying and hoping that the clouds will hang around. The temperature for you race fans out there, 80 degrees, 8 0. The standard correction right now is 1070, 2,934 feet of density altitude. Those pesky little water grains that we love to hate, 99. And we're ready to go top fuel qualifying. As I look out the window, I see Cam Ferre on the left side. I see Austin Proc on the right side. And as I turn around and look at Joe, I see Tommy Johnson Jr. standing in between us. How are you, sir? Good, very good. Just thought I'd come out and check out a little action today. Let me guess. Just in case you brought your gear. Oh, uh, it's on site. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it wasn't last year, and I had drove way too fast going home to get it, so I thought it'd be safer if I brought it out this year. We'll have a chance to fill you in on that story. For those of you that don't know it a little bit later on, circle racing wheels on the left side, that is. I'm sorry, I got distracted momentarily. That is Terry's car over there, and Austin Proc not yet qualified. The Montana brand Rocky Mountain Twist Machine. We're going to get a pretty good read on the racetrack right here. First pair of cars down. Terry Haddock trying to get his car qualified with one run. Austin Proc just trying to get his car qualified. Wow, Proc's car did a like kind of a little hippity hoppity who thing, and he is just coasting down there. Cam Ferre launched hard for about 100 feet or so, and then he lost power. 586 at 116 miles an hour, and Austin Proc was 1050, 66 miles an hour, 1058 with a one. If you want to get technical. That car has been running very well as of late. Kind of a surprise. Joe Costello joins us up here in the tower to see it make two bad runs in a row. Didn't get down last night. Didn't get down again tonight. Yeah, that's going to perplex them. They were pretty adamant about their most recent qualifying effort out there in Brainerd. was strong. They had a strong effort for sessions. The race didn't work out the way they wanted, but they felt like they were on the right track. And so far, not so good. Krista Baldwin sits on the bump spot after last night at 3.866. Justin Ashley sits on top after last night at 3.716. We're gonna have to go down and give both of those a little boost around the corner at the top end. 